Hi, my name is Helga Eichhorn. I am a software engineer at Telespazio Germany, where I work on space mission analysis and design tools. We have recently started an exciting new project, which I want to share with you today. There is a renewed interest in the moon in the worldwide space community. Not only national space agencies like NASA or CNSA are pushing forward towards the moon, there is even an intense race between startups going on about who will accomplish the first private robotic moon landing, fueled by programs such as NASA's commercial lunar payload services or CLIPS. Our parent company, Telespazio Italy, has been selected by the European Space Agency to lead a consortium which will study how to design a lunar satellite communications and navigation infrastructure, the Lunar Communications and Navigation Service, or LCNS. The study is part of ESA's project Moonlight, which has the goal of realizing such an infrastructure as a public-private partnership and establishing a sustainable lunar economy in the coming decades. The job of my team at Telespazio Germany within this consortium is the development of the Lunar Service Volume Simulator or LSIM. This mission analysis simulator will be used by the systems engineers developing the constellation during the study as well as potential end users who will use it to evaluate the performance of LCNS and how it could benefit their missions to the moon. So why am I telling you this at JuliaCon? Because we have selected Julia as the implementation language for the simulator core. LSIM will be deployed as a software as a service on a private cloud and consists of several dockerized services. Users interact with LSIM through a React frontend written in TypeScript, which then communicates with a TypeScript-based server via REST APIs and WebSockets. Several Julia simulator containers are processing jobs from a work queue implemented with a Redis database. We are using a wealth of open source packages, including, for example, astrotime.jl, redis.jl, reference frame rotations.jl, spice.jl, satellite toolbox.jl, and static arrays.jl. And this list is expected to grow. We hope that LSIM will serve as a basis for more Julia based space mission analysis and design products in the future and allow us to contribute and strengthen the Julia Astro space ecosystem. Thank you for your attention, and I'm looking forward to your questions.